Imagine all households powered by solar energy. That's something that could come true as Singapore gives renewable energy firm Sun Cable the nod to import 1.75 gigawatts of low carbon electricity. With 4,300 kilometres of subsea cables, it is set to be the world's largest solar power infrastructure. Energy generated from Australia's Northern Territory will first pass Darwin, then through Indonesian waters to reach Singapore. This is an ambitious project, considering the scale and the distance between Australia and Singapore. Time will be needed to develop it, and we expect it to come online only after 2035. But when completed, the project will be a meaningful complement to the ASEAN power grid and will serve as an additional source of electricity, low carbon electricity for Singapore. For now though, Sun Cable has only received conditional approval and that means it's been assessed to be technically and commercially viable. This will provide the company with the support to continue developing the project. The next step after that is for Sun Cable to get a conditional license and that means the project must meet the Energy Market Authority's technical requirements and the price must be acceptable to customers. For now, the company says it is on track to bring first power into Singapore after 2035. We have already invested uh, U.S. $170 million so far over the last few years. We have made uh, quite a good progress with our project development. Uh, going forward, we will be taking similar uh, milestone-based development approach. Uh, as we go through, we will be completing our subsea survey, uh, looking at we will be uh, you know, securing our supply chain, uh, also the off-take contracts, uh, and then finally uh, achieving financial close uh, expectedly in end of 2027. With plans to import more clean energy, Singapore wants to ensure is generated from a renewable source. It is working with countries like Australia to recognise such green energy imports, and these will come with a Renewable Energy Certificate, or REC. The certificates will provide proof that one megawatt hour of electricity was generated from sources like solar or geothermal energy. Singapore plans to import 6 gigawatts of renewable energy by 2035. It will come from countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Indonesia and Australia. Companies can buy RECs to offset their greenhouse gas emissions, but not all RECs are universally recognised across borders. But that could change. Singapore is working with regional countries and sustainability bodies to standardise RECs across borders. The electricity produced in Malaysia and uh, Indonesia doesn't suddenly stop being renewable once they cross the border, right? So I think this framework is a great first step initiated by the EMA to get to a level of understanding that the electricity flows, if they're actually physically flowing into Singapore, are as green as locally produced uh, electricity by, uh, by Singapore. We want to give industry players the confidence that these RECs are properly accounted for. This framework will help catalyze demand for cross-border electricity and facilitate investments that support the long-term viability of electricity trading projects. Singapore's energy sector is getting a boost with more than 1,800 training slots and mentorship for over 40 projects. Semcorp Solar is supporting the sector with its appointment as a skills future queen bee. And these are established industry leaders with expertise to help smaller firms grow and transform. Semcorp Solar will progressively roll out 17 courses to support companies. And these courses include topics like solar panel design and safety training. Singapore has a target to deploy at least 2 gigawatt peak of solar capacity by 2030. Achieving this would require a, a bigger pool of skilled engineers and technicians. So the Skills Future Queen Bee program is useful to help provide rigorous and sector specific training. Semcorp has many years of experience. They have thousands of assets. So that experience will translate very well to small and medium enterprises such as ourselves.